Mm-hmm. And not even that. As an individual, you should be a free agent to politicians. You yeah, should be a absolutely. free agent to corporations. You got you to get me to sign over here. Right. You got to <laughs> really earn it. Yeah. And earning it is a, is a function of you being knowledgeable enough to know what needs to be earned. Because a lot of times we're not even knowledgeable enough. So you're saying you got to know your worth. Mm. You got to know your worth. Or know the value of You got to know your worth and you got to understand the field. A lot of us don't know what's up for grabs. It's it, Voting is as cultural as going to church for some people. <gasps> yeah, I might like this. <laughs> Donald Trump don't take no L's, man. I'm not going to front. I've come to that... Uh, I've come to that decision, bro. I've come to that. Uh, that's that's a that's a consensus. I think that everybody should have because we've seen it time and time again. The dude might really be Teflon, but that's not my prediction. Obviously, my prediction is that Trump will select. What? And, and again, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. If y'all at home <laughs> voting on American Idol, <laughs> and you can't vote for the next uh, quote unquote leader of the free world. Right. Come on now. What's going on, my today people? My name is Wendy, and I really appreciate you all joining me yet again for another. The Dear Future Robots podcast is an audio visual time capsule addressed to the future, future, but from a human perspective. So stay tuned to see what we contribute. Dear Future Robots, let's go. I saw this story recently that I thought was very interesting. All right. And uh, it's actually one of the many stories behind a few lawsuits uh, for for this company called LexisNexis. And for those that have never heard of LexisNexis, uh, essentially what it is, is a company that aggregates data and sells it off to bigger companies. In this case, uh, they actually were selling data to insurance companies, allegedly. Now, and that's due to a uh, connection or business that they do with car manufacturers. And for those that have heard of Lexus Nexus, y'all already know that. But uh, in the case of this Georgia woman named Tanisha Clay, Lexus Nexus uh, allegedly, I must say allegedly, uh, was selling data to uh, through the car companies to the insurance companies that suddenly denied Tanisha service, right? It turns out that the data that LexisNexis was collecting, allegedly, was her driving patterns. How quickly she was stopping, how fast she was accelerating or taking off. <laughs> if she's a track star, I don't know, maybe she's a you know, NASCAR or whatever. Uh, and also how fast she was going as far as sustained speed, like whether she was speeding or not, right? Intrusive? Yeah. And leave it to the insurance company. That was enough to deny her coverage. Now, right now, there's hundreds of people that are lining up to sue companies like LexisNexis for invasions of privacy, amongst other things. And uh, I think it's only right because we're paying them. Uh, They shouldn't be trying to really decide who they want as customers. I don't think it should really work like that. So that made me think of a question. Dear Future Robots. How did your society navigate the challenges to legal frameworks brought on by technological advancements moving too quickly, especially when it came to consumer privacy and security? In the case of Ms. Clay, unfortunately, there was no laws saying that LexisNexis couldn't do what they were doing. Y'all know these corporations going to get by if we let them. Let's start the show. My today, people, what's going on, man? Really appreciate being back. Y'all know we've been on a new schedule lately. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but we're having a good time, man. Uh, Valley, what's going on with your brother? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> Feeling good, man. That's, Feeling great. I'm back in the building. Hey, you know what I mean? Sir, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. Uh, today, we're a few good men short, but it is what it is. And we're going to start rotating a few people anyways. Got got a lot of interesting things coming up. Indeed, uh, indeed, indeed. indeed. Uh, but uh, for my philosophy today, wanted to do something a little different. 
Uh, our last episode was uh, a bit popular. We had a few comments, <laughs> <laughs> to say yeah. the least. <laughs> and uh, some of those comments were on the more critical side of a few of the takes that we had, especially when we were talking about um, some of the bills that Governor DeSantis from Florida, for those out of the state or out of the country, uh, passed a few weeks back. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, had a few people, Valley, that were... <laughs> Just a few? Yeah, that were... Thinking that for some reason we should have denounced everything, everything, everything DeSantis that he there is no way he can do anything that we we're allowed to agree with, and I just thought that was very interesting, bro. Like, so we can't like if we like it, we can't like you know what I'm saying. We can't say yeah. we like it. We can't speak to the logic behind it or how we think it makes sense, or just because he's like. He's on the red side, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Everything he does, he, he's the ops. You know, we gang gang and he's the ops. So we just I mean, supposed to. Some people call that loyalty. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. It might be a little delusion, a little. I, uh, yeah, I've, yeah, I you definitely know what I'm agree. I agree with some, the delusion there. But, right. you know, for, for some, it's I'm following the company guideline. <laughs> you know the, what I mean? The gang, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was just thrown out because I'm like, bro, like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, because. One side almost can literally do no wrong, and the other one, mm-hmm. regardless of whatever, is always going to be wrong. You know what I mean? We went, we we did somewhat of a deep dive on the the uh, I can't remember the name of the bill, but the fourteen and under internet uh, social media access. Yeah, right, right. I don't know. Just speaking from a parent's perspective, I don't know a parent that would find something wrong with that. Personally, I don't know a parent. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the, obviously, there's there's anecdotal of course. evidence out there. So of there, course. we will find someone. We will find a parent that will will be in the opposition of, right. of that bill. My child needs to be on you the know internet I mean? unsupervised. But, but I think a, a overwhelming majority of people would agree. Uh-huh. You know, especially if you think back to, and we said it the previous episode, if right. you think back to when you were, 14 years old yeah what were you doing <laughs> yeah. with the internet and then obviously the people that hey man if you were 14 before the internet even drops like what were you do what what did what happened predated you know right the internet right you know what i says so, a lot of magazines yep sticky magazines uh, uh playboy and yeah. hustler and whoever else it was yeah. was all running yeah. wild was yeah. running buck wild making all this money right <laughs> right it was so wild back then that you can find those on the side of the road yeah like somebody done threw it out sure. of the car after they got busy or whatever mm-hmm. bro like it was wild times man crazy but i just i <sighs> And, and, and one of the comments I saw was somebody I actually know personally. Mm-hmm. So it was really interesting because we've had <laughs> discourse before, but man, and I appreciate it because, you know, engagement, all that kind of stuff. But man, it was just interesting. I'm like, this is like a weird, like paternalistic thing where if you say something that's out of line with the company that I think you should uh, belong to. Right. And we're going to smack you on the hand. So, but we grown men, dog. Yeah. I don't get smacked on the hand. I say what the hell I want. When the hell I want. It's true. Now, there's one guy in particular. Mm hmm. Uh, that was pushing a bill in the Senate. Uh, I can't remember what state he's in, but his name is Josh Hawley. Okay. Right. And he, he gained a bit of notoriety because he's what people consider a Trumper, right? He's one of the, the Trump loving type people or whatever the case is. Right. Okay. And uh, the bill though, that I was interested in was a bill that was going to directly impact or combat citizens United, which was a decision in like 2000, the 2010s, uh, in regards to corporate power, as far as how much they can donate when it comes to super PACs to politicians. Mm-hmm. So Josh Hawley was pushing a bill that would remove uh, provisions that that case opened up. So uh, in effect, removing major massive donors from politics. So basically cap them, either ca- a capping or removing. You, you either can't donate or you can only donate this amount and that's it. And your name has to be written like you got to like, be like we knew on we the dossier. It's it's you know uh verified that it came right. from you. <laughs> no more private yeah. donors into these super PACs right. and nah nah nah. So I was I, I talk about the evil of corporations all the time. People think the politicians are the the ones moving the needle. No no no. They're they're the uh what they call them? They're the figurehead. No, not even that. If you think of plantation, they're the 
what's the word I'm looking for? So they're not the slave masters. They per are se, not the slave but masters. They enforce. They're, like, they're like the the not the whip crackers, but the uh, <laughs> damn. What's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> no, no. But the politicians are like the people that the overseers essentially. Yeah. That's what the politicians are. People think that's the police. No, no, no. The politicians are the overseers. Mm -hmm. They do the bidding and keep everybody in line. You're at 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 this point in time as far as the the corporations go, and the corporations they only have money on their mind. They don't have our best interests. Nah, not at all. They just don't. So when you're talking about removing the ability for corporations to literally control and or legally bribe our politicians. Right. And you want to bring that to an end. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what color you're wearing on your, what color tie you're wearing. Yeah. Whether you're an elephant or a donkey. Mm -hmm. I don't care nothing about that. I'm going to support that. Right. But in this two party system that we're in where we're I, so divisive, you, I hate it. See, I feel like you assume. That person's thinking for themselves. Josh Hawley? No, 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 no. I mean, the oh, in actual, general, like, in general. Okay. Like, I think we kind of underestimate at times how many people just, I wouldn't even say think for themselves, but just think independently. Like, hey, does this work for me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right. Like, do I subscribe to the belief that this person is saying, is this applicable to my life and my situation? All right. Like, if we ask more of those questions, I feel like then it's easier to get behind these things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't think the masses is necessarily asking that. I think a majority of us got to be just falling in line with whatever party or or whatever gang, you know, <laughs> be a part of. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. That's what I would think. And and that's unfortunate because I'm like, man, if if more people knew about this, maybe we can get more things done as opposed to it literally just being, okay, what what's what's my team saying today? Well, and what's my team saying? I got to like talk down on today like you 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 spoke about it in the previous episode man information overload mm. like i bet you it's there it's it's on the table right but i got so much on the table like am i ever even gonna make it to that option mm. you know what i mean mm. yeah i mean good point uh so what in conclusion i guess what i will say to y'all out there is one mind the business that minds you right mm -hmm. right mind the business that minds you and Educate yourself a little more than the vacuum that you, you, you know, what I mean, you you, you kind of sitting in, right? Uh, look from look from beyond that peer view. Do a little more research. Understand what you're actually talking about, because a lot of a lot of times y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Ex expand, expand the thought process. I just talked about the bill from Josh Hawley. How many people knew about it? That's a good question. I guarantee they didn't. Because Probably not. it didn't come from their side. It didn't come from their side of the street. You feel you feel like uh What's depending that? on what side of the street you're on. Yeah. Like you feel like it's that side of the street's fault. You got that you didn't know or that you're not aware? Well, okay, let me say this. Yes. Okay. And and you're an adult, you should be looking at, you know what I mean? You should right. have some autonomy in the way you think, but Human beings, we don't we don't work like that. Nah. <laughs> we don't. Work. Most people are sheep, proverbial yeah. sheep. Yep, absolutely. Most people are proverbial sheep. We need to be, and we'll never acknowledge it. And I don't need, think people even see it or understand it this way. But we need to be told what to think. Most people's opinions are not their own, and I've said this months ago. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a truth that don't sound good. Nobody likes to believe it. What's up, bro? So I I, I lean towards the. So. Yeah, I I would lean towards apprehension. Though? I would lean towards yes. So I don't think it's always directly telling you what you should think. Okay, directly. You know, what I mean, I think sometimes that's the point. It's, it's, <laughs> it can't be directly. It can't be directly, right? <laughs> it's got to be indirectly. Oh, we trying to make you lean yeah. in this direction. So we just gonna kill you with you know. It could be advertisements. Yeah, it could yeah. be uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's just, usually subliminal. Yeah, it's, uh, so the subliminal messaging, yeah. right? The the frequent. I mean, look at the ad on your phone, your right. mobile device, right? right. Like, yeah, you know, like, hey, I was, I, I was thinking about, uh, you know, new tires for my car, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, I'm getting bombarded, bombarded. with with auto shop, uh, uh you know, tire Email, places. You flyers, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh snap, you know, the mm -hmm. algorithms picked up on something. It's no joke. And and that people a lot of people don't realize that's actually a setting you can turn off in your phone. Should be able to. It's a it's a literal setting. If you have iPhones, I don't know how the Androids work. I'm sure I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> Call back like a mug. But I'm sure you can do it on Androids as well. Uh -huh. But there's a setting in iPhones where you can actually turn that off. 
I, I left mine on because I, I don't care anymore. But I used to have it off, like, you know. But it's all tracking and all that kind of stuff. Still, they listen to you. It's all kind of stuff. We still track anyway. Yeah, you turn. You think you turned it off. You turned off it. There you go. You're, you're right. right. You're, like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they not listening. We listening, though. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, but, man, um, I think it's actually valuable uh, for us to start thinking a bit outside the box when it comes to this two-party system. Right? And I've been talking about this for months. Yeah. Uh, for those out there that have been listening to the show, because I know there's a lot of newcomers, salute to y'all. But for those that have been listening to the show, y'all have heard me big up a lot of different politicians. Uh, one week I can be on somebody because I find something interesting. The next week they can say something really stupid and I can be off of them. Shout out to uh, what was her name? Uh, she, the the Indian Indian woman, um, Nikki Haley. Shout out to Nikki. <laughs> oh, Haley. we still saying that? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, yeah. She's she's Indian. She I, is. Yeah, she is. I, uh, but yeah. I was on her for a little bit until she I started, saw a little she, more of her. <laughs> she started, uh, what's up? I guess, f- figuratively lynching herself. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. But these comments, man. man. But Oof. I think as a quote-unquote community, mm-hmm. and not even that, as an individual, you should be a free agent to politicians. You yeah, should be a absolutely. free agent to corporations. You got you to get me to sign over here. Right. You got to <laughs> really earn it. Yeah. And earning it is a, is a function of you being knowledgeable enough to know what needs to be earned. Cause a lot of times we're not even knowledgeable enough. So you're saying you got to know your worth. Mm. You got to know your worth or know the value. Of- you got to know your worth and you got to understand the field. A lot of us don't know what's up for grabs. It's it, voting is as cultural as going to church for some people. I think it should be. <laughs> Cause I mean, that, yeah, I mean in our, in this country is shown that's where the power is. You know what I mean? Going to church should be an intimate relationship with you and your creator. It's it's more it's it's been whittled down to just being a cultural activity for a lot of people, mm-hmm. just like voting. Voting should be an intimate. Uh, it should be a, a a a moment. First of all, it should be a national holiday. It should be, but it should be a moment where you some, go in some, there and some, you some know com- what you're doing. Some companies uh let you take off to go vote. Some do. Yeah, some oh, do. I, and, and everybody. I wouldn't know. Right? It definitely ain't everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely but, ain't everybody. But some companies do. All right. They let you uh hey, hey, take the day. Everybody go vote. Right. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that because, unfortunately, well, fortunately, we're in a country where that's the only way things really move. Well, see, I think I think the first step in what's up, whatever battle this this is, as far as like you know, trying to gain more independent thinking or just people thinking in general, yeah, is to get people participating. Mm. Like, mm. you got to participate in the process in order to you know achieve anything in it. And so half, like and half the people don't. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's like half the battle right there. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. get everybody to the polls, mm-hmm. you know, and then take it from there. Be educated on what you're voting for too. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> that 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 to me, I feel like that goes hand in hand. Yeah. You're coming right. to the polls, you should be educated right. on what you're about to vote for. But you know, some people might just Christmas tree it. Hey, bro. I remember <laughs> when I first started voting, and I was Christmas treeing it. No, I, I, I voted for Obama, and I Christmas treed everything else. Nah, I couldn't do that. That's what I did when I first so, voted. Um, what's up? I want to say, I, who did I? I spoke to a couple people, man. Mm-hmm. I spoke to like my neighbor. I spoke to my pops. Uh, I spoke to one of my teachers. I and tried shout, to shout out the pops, by the way, man. You know, I tried. I tried to get um, I tried to get different opinions on stuff. You know, okay. before I just went off and cast it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like that's that's how I went. Yeah, I did not take it that serious. <laughs> nah, I, I mean, fair, I mean, but serious. you know what? I had my dad on my behind. I did not getting me to vote. Yeah, so I think that was that was the thing. Like, hey man, you need to vote. You need to participate, and that's why I have an appreciation for it today. Because I'm like, yeah, you know what? And then knowing the history, right, of like you know people in this country, mm-hmm. yeah, you know that's real. Like, like we need to, you should want to participate in right. this, man. Yeah, like, everybody gets to say, you know, right. Yeah, y'all people sitting at home, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, man. Straight up. <laughs> if, you, if you're, if you're I mean, sitting at home, you should be ashamed if, of yourself. If you sit at home and you voting, this don't apply to you. Because <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all for the absentee ballot vote. You right. know what I mean? Like, hey, right. man, it off. Right. <laughs> I don't got to go nowhere. Right. I don't got to wait no lines. Like, and if it ever gets to a point where, you know, we can cast this bad boy from the mobile device. I can't wait. Sign me up. I can't wait. You know, we don't got to go nowhere. Fingertips. Right. <laughs> I can't wait. If we Just can do like that. If we can do banking securely from our device, we should be able to vote. Should be. Makes sense. Should be, right? Makes sense. Now, um, and, and again, y'all should be ashamed of y'all if y'all at home <laughs> voting on American Idol <laughs> <laughs> and you can't vote for the next uh, uh, quote unquote leader of the free world. Right. right. Come on now. 
Uh, but if you ain't got nothing else, bro, I think we'll move on to Scrap Metal Media. Let's it's go. gonna be a short one today, bro. I don't know if we get past an hour and a half, bro. But let's get it. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Scrap Metal Media. Welcome to Scrap Metal Media, where all news is two-faced. Take it or leave it. All right, all right. Welcome back to Scrap Metal Media. Today, I got to give props where props is due. Okay. Because like I just said in the, uh, or like we just talked about in uh, my philosophy, mm -hmm. uh, we are not biased when it comes to this political stuff. No. Nah. If uh, a, a one party does something that I agree with, and I'm sure you can agree with this, I'm going to give the kudos. Hey, and if they yeah. do something I don't like, I don't care if it's the party I've been voting for my whole life. Yeah. They still going to criticize you're you. You're going to get a critique. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. So one thing I have to say, shout out, out first here. of all, to President Biden. All right. I know people personally <laughs> that had their student loans recently wiped out. Great for them, man. And they had to do it sneakily because one guy I know, shout out Jamoki, he had to get it in um, a whole bunch of grants just suddenly hit his account for like odd numbers, too. That's how you know they were just trying to wipe out the loans. And people are, are throwing like critiques and saying, oh, it's uh, it's they're just trying to buy votes. Who cares? <laughs> it's helping people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if that's a byproduct of them buying people. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it because it, it's helping really it, real people. It, you know? it don't bother me, guys. At all. <laughs> At all. So I, I just have to say that, bro, because um, right now I think it's uh, $7.4 billion, and that's slated to help almost 280,000 people. That's crazy. I think that's dope. I wish he would have just did that from the beginning, bro. Like, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody could have said anything if you just did it from the beginning. They couldn't say you're just trying to buy votes or you just want a curry favor, favor or anything like that. It would have just been straight up. This is the thing, though. Would What's people up? have remembered? Hell yeah. Okay. You, <laughs> I, you think so? I don't my, know, man. I feel like we in the era of people who quickly forgetting stuff. You know what I mean? That's true. But when your student loans get wiped I, up. I, which is understandable. <laughs> yeah. But... What's up? I don't know, man. I, I just feel like society today, you, you, it's not, it's not what you've done. It's right. what you've done for me lately. lately. You yeah. know what I mean? Good point. So, so I, I kind of, I understand if, if, if old Joe is like, Hey man, hey, we gonna wait to the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we ain't, we ain't gonna sub him out yet. Yeah, we yeah. gonna wait. Right, 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 <laughs> we gonna, right, right. We gonna put LeBron in at the end. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. Granted, it's not the yeah. fourth quarter yet, but nah, it's but, damn hey, we get, close. We getting close. Like, uh, uh, break them off just a little bit. Is that season? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna feed the streets yet. Is break them season? off just a little bit, right? And I, it feels like they kind of seen that they can't, uh, they couldn't lock uh, Trump up, so we got to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something else that's going to work, man. I'm going to leave my comments. No, 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 no. Don't leave I, your comments. I, I, try, I try to get us flagged, but you know what I mean? Oh, you was about to say the, something the, great. The, what you was about to say, man? If, I'll bleep it if I need to. Hey, the, fl the flag was waved. What you about to Joe, say? Joe man? knew what it was. Hey, it's like, hey, free some, free some of these slaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, hit the, he hit that most. Hey, let some, uh, let some of my people go. <laughs> let some of those people, people go. go. <laughs> let some of those right, people go. Right, we ain't his people, but you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. Hey, I need, I need a couple more of them people yeah, over here. You're right. You know right. Because Sexy Red is over there doing her yeah, thing. Yeah. I need, I need, <laughs> hey, Kodak hey, Black hey, is doing this know, thing. We, he, need, he, we, need that, we need to tip that scale a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Let me put my finger on Let me put my big toe on there. So, I ain't mad at that man hey keep, keep doing your thing you know what i mean all right it's about to be a blood sport when it comes to uh, november bro like this is it, crazy right now they're saying they're closely like they're close now that's what they're saying yeah you never know right? but you don't know dog uh -huh. it's just the way i don't know as the world turns man we gonna find out right you know i remember right. uh when hillary lost you know what i mean yeah. and all the projections yeah. you know you're right you're right. She had her purple on. Yeah, you know all, I mean? all the regal ready. All the projections we saw. Ha ha, Hillary. Ha ha. Before had her <laughs> had her winning that bad boy, and I just remember the look of defeat on everyone's face when, yeah. when it all played out, and I was like, "Wow, that was an interesting night." It was. Yeah, I I, I remember like I was I didn't I didn't vote for Hillary. Uh, for those that know, um, shout out to IET. Um, but I remember being surprised. I was surprised. Yeah, I think Legit. a lot of people were I was bro. surprised. Legit. Uh, uh, I remember the initial feeling that people kept having was one, one guy told me, he said, uh, 
Trump won't win an election because he's a television star. Oh my. And 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 the American public would never vote a television star. And I was just like, you just I was and it, it, keep in mind I'm like, you didn't just see what happened in California with where Schwarzenegger <laughs> and, be a governor. And there's a guy there's actually a guy named Ronald Reagan who became president. Right. Who had a whole acting crew, so I'm just like yeah, I'm, talk about. So, but that just lets me know the level of ignorance and I'm like Oh, lo and behold, this motherfucker actually won the election. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I was just like, ah. You know, so right. just one of the things, man. That's ridiculous, man. Uh, people are crazy, man. Like, it's a lot of lunatics running out, <laughs> running around, man. Um, moving right along, the solar eclipse, bro. Had a lot of people acting crazy. It did. A lot uh, of people looking nuts. So some, some, some astrology influencer uh, threw her... her her kid out of a, a moving car, a, a bunch of what? Yeah, no, crazy, right? Crazy, crazy. It's, cr- it's a crazy story I was reading, and wow. apparently she's under investigation. I don't, I don't know who this lady she is. She ain't now. arrested under the jail. I, I, I think she's. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure she's been arrested, and they're investigating okay. it. Okay. Um, Damn. Damn. Don't quote me on all this, guys. Okay. <laughs> but That's crazy. Uh, apparently, they're they're, they're investigating because they're saying that she was influenced by the the eclipse, bro. And I'm just like, That's what right. kind of. I don't know, man. You know, some people might might. I'm just saying, like it, it, the eclipse had people acting a little a little bonkers, bro. <laughs> we need to bring back sanitariums, like, man. Like it was just a little a little a little too much. I don't understand. No, that, like I know I know people personally that were concerned about it for some reason, but that's because of the feedback loop that's in their little like echo chambers. Like mm-hmm. you get people that are like, oh. You know, Mercury is in record retrograde, retrograde. and Man. all this. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So you believe in any of that? No, I don't. Zo- I don't, I don't. You believe in that zodiac? Uh, I think something? it's interesting, but no, I think the zodiac is just a compilation of uh, of data. We talk about aggregating data, uh-huh. like Lexus, Lexus Nexus, but just data that should, that's been aggregated for well over a thousand years mm-hmm. on people born at different times of the lunar and solar cycles. That's it. So these people tend to do this. These people tend to do this. And honestly, I think a lot of it nowadays is mm-hmm. people uh, uh, going like um, doing surveys and they're just using a lot of this data and pumping it out because I think it's a big industry behind it now. I don't think it's any kind of um, supernatural thing. Yeah, I, I don't think it's some kind of phenomenon. I never did, um, man. No, it's just kind of like fortune cookies. You know how they pumping those out now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what? I, I had a fortune cookie from, and it's not an authentic place, <laughs> Panda Express oh, the wow. other day, bro. Oh, wow. That's bottom. and I did not, Right? And I did not have a fortune in there. Oh, wow. And you I had just, misfortune, huh? So, I mean, like, how does one take that? I don't know, but the food got to be nasty, though. Uh, <sighs> yeah, it was bottom tier. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't nasty, like, unbearable. It was just like, man, I just... It was the only like it was the closest spot to one of those. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel you. Hey one man, I was in I was in a difficult spot. I had, I've been <laughs> rock bottom before, unfortunately. It was what it was. <laughs> I've been rock bottom. So decisions I, I were made. Decisions, decisions, right? All right. So uh, moving right along, man. There was a case recently where um, there was a Michigan uh, mass shooter, right? Yeah. And uh, recently, his parents were found guilty. Yep. But what happened a few days ago is that they were actually sentenced. Each of them got 10 to 15 years. I, nothing. Uh, I got to clap it up for yeah. that. Yeah. Right, <laughs> I mean, rightfully, finally. Rightfully so. Finally. What, what were you about to say? Uh, I think dad got 15. Yeah. I forget the number mom got. But mom Did she get more than 15? I think they both got pretty much the same thing. That's fine. I like that. Uh, I like that. But I'm, I'm okay with the reasoning. You know, the kid had access to a weapon. They knew the kid was distressed. They knew he had access to the gun. I'm, right. I'm, I am right. okay right. with the outcome. Right. Um, and I think it's good. It, do you think it potentially sets precedent for other states to take that action when this stuff happens? Like, yes. Parents get. I'm, I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I'm 100% on board with it. And if, I hope it's a deterrent. Yeah. Because these parents seem like they enabled. Oh, they were uh, negligent too, man. Oh, s- extremely. Extremely. And I'm just like, yeah. I, I like it. Um, see, I like when things like this happen. I do too. It's I think it's a positive thing. Hell yeah! You know, I I think uh, you definitely want to set the message. Hell you know? yeah! Like, hey, this this, uh, this type of Th- thing shouldn't happen. This is the new standard. Yeah. Now, as a parent, you have to parent. Yeah. Right. It's like it, forced parenting. For it, it, that's a wild statement, right? Like yeah. forced parent. You got to force parents to parents. But no, I like it, and uh, I I I hope. This is a deterrent and something that actually limits the number of 
mass shootings that we see from coming from uh, adolescents. Yeah, right. I agree. I think we're still going to see some from adults, but like at least this, if this can like help to stem what we're seeing from like teenagers, mm -hmm. I'm I'm all for it, mm -hmm. and and I, I support it 100, percent man. Right. So keep it coming. All right, I am yeah. in support. All right, so uh, another case that was actually uh, interesting that I thought was uh, NBA player Ja Morant, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked about this ja. months ago yeah. where uh, he had a case coming from a, uh, a teenager. He was a 17-year-old young man yeah. that he got into a, a fight with, it when, seems. Wasn't it at his house? It was at Ja Morant's it's, house. It's like his, a, a his gym? A, right. Apparently, they were playing basketball. I thought it was outdoors, but yeah, it was, it was playing outdoor basketball. Gym. Still yeah. gym. You're right, you're right. Still court. They were, they were hooping, <laughs> playing hooping. basketball. And and something happened where physical play, I, yeah, physical like play that. essentially. And the young the the young man mm. was uh, allegedly assaulted. Turns out <laughs> <laughs> that uh, John Morant. Uh, it turns out was it was all self defense. You know what I mean? So, so that was that was the ruling. You're right. Self defense. Mm. He's good. Uh, granted, he has top notch, top notch attorneys. <laughs> so I, I guess his attorneys did their Esquires. job. Yeah, they did their job, man. So uh, I guess that's good news for him. Now, hopefully, he can stay out of trouble as far as those other things go. You know what I mean? Right. Other forms of shooting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, uh, talking about shooting, Caitlin, shout out to her. Uh, Dave Portnoy recently uh, jumped off the roof. Hey man, shout, uh, shout out to South Carolina for winning it. Shout out to South Carolina, by the way. Uh, but Caitlin had to be defended by Dave Portnoy. Uh, he was alleged that a lot of the media members uh, were. Oh going yeah, at her. yeah, yeah. Now he, I don't know if you saw any I, of them, but I, you go ahead. Man. I, I saw a little bit of this, yeah. and it, I don't know what he was talking about because uh -huh. all season long, man, they, everybody has bigged up Caitlin Clark. Now the one bit of criticism I, I saw, yeah, and I didn't disagree with it was from a, a few. Other like retired um, WNBA Hall of Famers, okay, that were speaking about her playing at the next level, saying, "Hey, she's really good. Uh -huh. She's going to be a high draft pick, um, but she's not going to do what she's doing in college in the WNBA, right? And that's okay. Hey, it's going to be an adjustment period, right? It might take that. a season or two. Before she can really impose her will on the game. Like, right. These are all realistic things, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. That's the only level of criticism I saw. And I think I saw like Jamel Hill and a couple other uh, um, journalists giving it back to Dave Portier <laughs> for the comments. Yeah. Man. They were seeming to get getting on him. And uh, I mean, I don't know how much of a staple he is in women's basketball. But I don't like him. <laughs> right. Like, I, <laughs> I don't. Like I, don't that. I, I was just like, I don't know why he would come. Like, I don't know why you would jump off the porch with that comment, because that's definitely not the general consensus right. that I've seen. That's why I say he jumped off. He jumped off the whole roof. Yeah, He's like, I, whoa, he, buddy, hey, where you coming it, from? It was like clickbait, man. That's that's how I took it. Like, you just trying to add to to a, a, in my opinion, a problem that doesn't even exist, man. Like It felt like a little baiting, though. Yeah, like, like it's like clickbait. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, He's like, like I, I, wouldn't race call, I, would, I wouldn't call it, like, pandering, because I don't know who the hell he's pandering to. Uh, America. In what way? America loves Caitlin Clark. You think America can't sell a white girl from no, Iowa? No, but there was there was a few criticisms, and I think he used that to stay relevant. He used that to show that yes, I'm the shining white knight. That's what it felt like. Because, like you said, Caitlin Clark is popular. People like her. Yeah, it's a few dissenters, but they sound ridiculous because she's very good. I saw some old school. Um, it, uh, player, I think it was before the WNB or something like that. Some player that played a long time ago. She was bragging about on stage, like, "Oh, because uh, I, I guess Caitlin Clark had just set a record or broken her record." And she's mm -hmm. like, "Oh, my record's not really broken. I didn't even have a three point line. I didn't." I'm like, "Yo, you sound like an old hater, man. Uh, like, let that girl sh let her shine, this man. Is, this thing, right? What's up? I think as an athlete, I don't think you can ever really let that." Go all the way, cause okay. yeah, cause it's just by like by nature, dog. Right. You even in your mind, like right. Like you played sports a little bit. Yeah. I played sports a little bit. Yeah. Uh, 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 if we played, you, you don't think if you played LeBron James, mm -hmm. you, you don't think that you want to score a basket? Absolutely, freaking like, I'm gonna score at least one. One, so right? Yeah. Like essentially, I'm, that like that's the competitive nature right. in it. So I don't think I that I don't think that ever leaves anybody that's played at a like. 
a high level or an elite level. Like you can't just turn that off. Right. If you're a I grandma mean. though, you gotta chill a little bit. Uh, that might be. <laughs> so she might really believe that in her mind. Like that's the thing you gotta kind of look at. Like right. in, in her mind, she really believes. I'm better than that girl. Mm, yeah, she's you know nuts. what I mean. She's nuts for that, and no, and nobody's gonna tell she's, her otherwise. She's nuts. We might, we might be like, no, you wrong, but in that person's mind, right. in her mind as a competitor, right, you're not finna tell her she's wrong, bro. And keep in mind, her entire life, <laughs> she's beating everybody. That sure, she so you say no, no, that wouldn't <laughs> doesn't mean anything to her. You but, know what I mean? But so. check this: this Caitlin Clark would have ran. So I didn't. I never even seen the the legend play. Right, but right. this Caitlin Clark I know would have ran circles around her. I ain't even see her play before, but this but Caitlin Clark would have ran circles around. I ain't gonna her. say that because it's some it's some players back then that could definitely hoop into okay. these games. You so know that's why I don't say that? Oscar Robinson would have got dunked on by Russell Westbrook. Okay, there you go. I'm a, I can probably so, LeBron so, James would have LeBron James would have put name a player in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can kind of say that because we that's, know that's factually yes. that the game, that the players now are more athletic. Yes, that's true. They are high, m way more skilled. That's it ain't true. even a this question how much more skilled they are. Now, there were like some players who had specialty moves like uh -huh. like the sky hook. That's a dope move that p players don't really do that much now. Right. And that's like specialized. Kareem. But oh, exactly. But overall, mm -hmm. most players now. Are way yeah, more skilled. I, yeah, so like, I, uh, we got thirty Jordans in the league now. To simplify, if you took all the players from the nineteen sixties, <laughs> right. put them against the players that play today in the oh, year tw two thousand twenty, mm -hmm. the, the twenty twenty players are probably going to beat the players from the sixties because it's the evolution. Of no, no, no. We, we we understand that they will be apologizing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but well, all my caveat to that is, I'm just going to tell you, yeah, there is a handful of players mm -hmm. in the nineteen sixties that you can take. Yeah. And throw in today's game, uh -huh. and they're still going to do what they were doing. Like, it, if we took Wilt Chamberlain, Wilt Chamberlain is still Wilt Chamberlain in today's game. Joel Embiid is giving him buckets. He is, but uh -huh. Chamberlain is still Chamberlain. Jordan is still Jordan. Jordan Bernard King is still Bernard Jordan King. Jordan blends in. Jordan's not special anymore. You put Jordan now, Jordan blends in with 30 other players, including Anthony Edwards, Zach Levine. And there's some people that will argue, argue that, though. There's yeah. some folks that would argue that people are like the mentality. Yeah, but it's, it's some guys right now. Anthony Edwards got that mentality. I don't disagree. Uh -huh. I think the league is a little tougher today than it was back then. But I, absolutely, guys are way more athletic. Yeah, like the skill level is just and, that much more superior. But this is a discussion for another and, day, and, man. And you know what? This you can't assault day. people. I'm gonna just say this: you can't assault people anymore. <laughs> That's a fact. But <laughs> yes, you're right. That's they a discussion for another, another day, day. Another day. But. Because I mentioned uh, those players might have to apologize, uh -huh. that brings me to what I think everybody's waiting on, first yeah. of all. Yeah, they have been. Because <sighs> we talked about J. Been. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, we did. Last episode. Sure so did, dog. New things happened since we spoke about yeah, it, Yeah, we just, just big Cole. I, that, I, just, <laughs> I look back and I'm like, me and Chris big to this man up yes, yes, so much. Yes. yes. And... People were shocked to see me on Twitter actually uh, talking about it as well. They were like, man, this, yeah. this got you tweeting. But you guys were in the group chat saying some things. And yeah. then he apologized two days later. And, you know, I, I, I like receipts. So I sent back our chat like, uh, <laughs> y'all good? <laughs> y'all uh, good? Is this your king? So, yeah, get, let me let me know what you feel like, bro. What's up? I'm going to give you a take that I actually, I'm, I'm going to give you one of the most original takes of all time. I love it. Clip, clip, clip. When one is employed, okay, right, and you sign, you sign up to do whatever job you're doing. You're right. hit with a list of job duties. Mm -hmm. Those job duties can be very specific or they can be very broad. But okay, the, most of the time they're covered. As a fan, I've been listening to J Cole since 2009. Right. Okay. So right, right. Been been with this guy a long time. Mm -hmm. I would consider J Cole a professional rapper. Okay. Right. That's what I, I would consider him at since rap from 2009 to 2024. I don't know what the math on that is, but it's 16 years. <laughs> yeah. like I don't know. Yeah. I could be wrong, but close enough. You know what I like mean? Like 18. Lo, lo, it's it, it's a uh, pretty uh, storied history there so far. I would think that man at this point, you've let me down. Mm. Like you haven't fulfilled your job. Mm. Like your job description. It like this is in your job description. Rap beef is in your job description. It is a part of the job. It's a part of the culture. But I mean, it's more. It's a part of the job. You're and right. when you sign to do this, when you decide I want to go off and be right. the best rapper, the greatest rapper, the top right. rapper, 
this is what comes with it. Right. So it is a very sad moment to see. Like, it's, it's just a sad moment to see in hip hop because I think it could have been a real, like, it, it could have been one of those things that really helped restore not just hip hop as like a culture, mm-hmm. as a cultural thing, but also like elite lyricism, mm-hmm. you know, uh, superior song making. Mm-hmm. Like, these guys have been arguably the biggest three rap, Kendrick. Drake and J. Cole have been right. the biggest rap stars in the culture since 2010. You know I what I mean? For sure, the most respected. Re- you know what I mean? Like, and it's just like, man, that could have been something special. And I don't know, it, it almost feels like disingenuous, man, to hear him like issue that apology. Because mm-hmm. just for years, you've been telling me, for the past five years, this dude is going around. And basically said, I'm the best rapper and I'm taking everybody. You told me I was supposed to feel the wrath of the Reaper, okay? Like, I've been waiting on that. Yeah. He got a song. He, and it's, it's crazy because I love the project. Like, the project is is a, a really good project, man. I Might Delete Later has some really great yeah, it's a good songs project. on it. I, like, I enjoyed it. I liked it better than Drake's out. I felt like it... it, it, it it just to be some leftovers or just to be like, hey, this is not right. This is all the stuff that's not gonna make the right. fall off. Right. Cohesively, it's not a bad project at all. Like I, I I'm gonna say I liked it better than the original Drake album, but the six extra songs, I like that better. You like that better? The I, th- extra I think it's better than Drake songs. I like I, like, I might delete later more than for all the dogs. Yes, with that being said, with that being said, I never thought I'd see the day that J. Cole folded. Before like Drake did in somebody's rap beat, and I gotta give Drake credit, man. Drake is battle tested. He is battle tested. Oh, but I don't because he, he is like Drake. Drake, you know how many people have gone to Drake? That's fair. And he's always respond. He always said something, whether it's in a right. song, whether it's subliminal. Like, he's, he's always he subliminal He's always addressed it. So I right. give him that credit. Like he's never really run from right. This is the most people that have been on his head though. It's this true. Is crazy. This is something different. But I've he's never, never seen this. He's never shot away from being at the top spot. Right. And I, I just got to I got to give him credit. And I'm just like, man, never I thought I'd see Cole go out like this. Now, I think the better question is, does this do anything to J. Cole's career? Yes. His career I think, will never be the same. I, I think it's a stain. I think it's a stain. Have you listened a major to major stain. Have you listened to him since? I heard him on the new Future album, Solid Project. I did. And I didn't care for the verse. I thought the song got trashed after Future finished. I'm not going to front. And it has nothing to do with him What's, apologizing. What, His verse just wasn't, I, it didn't do anything for I, me. Uh, so that's you. I'm going to tell you, man, it's hard to listen to like Middle Child. It's Oof. hard to listen to some of these. I, I can't listen to the uh, the record he had with, with Travis and Thug. Like it's hard to listen to some of his like top songs right now. Right. This shit don't hit the same. It's like the aura, the, 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 it, it's kind, it kind of leaves. Yeah, like, yeah, that's tough, bro. And I'm not going to front. I feel vindicated because some of these opinions I've had about J. Cole for the longest. I've been telling people for years that J. Cole is a businessman. I remember an uh, old documentary he had for, uh, for some project, maybe uh, the one that uh, with the tour manager with the dollar on his head, I think. Mm-hmm. He was doing the car Reven- test. Reven- Revenge of Dream- right. the Dreamer, yeah, yeah. He was doing a car test. So he went in the car to hear the album, and mm-hmm. he made a comment that stood out to me because I'll pay attention to body language and what you're saying in those different moments. And he, he made a statement like, oh, yeah, um, I wear these clothes for such and such reasons. Like, oh, this is a um, – uh, he said something about it being like a um, – like a uniform or some kind of like business strategy or something like that. Like after, after hearing him say something like that, cause I'm thinking this is just natural and this is how he wants to dress, mm. but no, it's, it's a strategy. <laughs> I don't know if he went to school for business marketing or what, cause, but I know he was magna cum laude according to his music. Like he knows what he's doing and this is all business. This is all strategy. Uh, and we're, it's not like he's some like super genuine dude that yeah I'm riding my bike I love all of this no it's 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 all business and I caught that early on mm-hmm. uh, I I stood on like yo J Cole like don't like I don't think he's the greatest like he has moments where he just kills it like as far as features but I was always on record saying I'm not a major fan of some of the projects like Born Center is my favorite mm-hmm. uh, Forest Hill Drive might be the most cohesive but there's songs on there that I hate. Um, but as far as the rollout for that, that was amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are, the, to me, the biggest highlights in his career. Okay. But from now on, 
Whenever you hear the name J. Cole. Whenever, oh, it's all, it's already happened. Whenever people Google J. Cole 20 years from now, it's, it's 30 years up. from now, it's gonna come up. this is the first thing that is going to come up. Well, first thing. So you say that. I don't know. I don't know if this is necessarily, necessarily be like. Bro, this man said he had nightmares. He couldn't go to sleep. And that's what, so oh that's what, kind of, that's what kind of pissed me off too. A little, <laughs> even more about it. Yeah. Like I, I find myself mad. Like I've been listening to this dude since 2009. Like motherfucker, this is your job. This, this is what you do. You rap, you go, you go at other rappers. Nobody was going to die because of this, but the whole, I, I couldn't, I could, it didn't sit right with my soul. That really pissed me off. Right. And that pissed me off so much because I'm like, yo, you get on these records and you call women bitches and hoes all the time. He does. You call us niggas. You talk yes. about people getting shot, shooting. He does. All types of atrocities and stuff that happens. Yeah. You you talk about all the stuff in your music and none of that's ever had an issue and not sat right with your soul. Mm -hmm. But the moment Kendrick Lamar said, it ain't a big three, it's a big me. me. Yeah. Blow! <laughs> that and that, that was the scale. Like that was the... Straw that broke the horse's back where you felt like you couldn't rap no more. Man, shout out to Kendrick Lamar. That's man. just making grown men apologize. That's just unwarranted. I'm just like that really that really pissed me off. And uh I'm still I, look, I'm gonna listen to his music again. I'm not I'm just not gonna stop being <laughs> it never a hits the same. Like it's just it just it it's lost a little bit of its aurora. Like it's just lost aurora. a little bit right yeah. now, man. Like I just that sucks, cause I know you. Y'all you, were in that group chat when it came, bro. Out, and you remember like, my, you remember my reaction. Yeah, I'm like the only issue I'm I like, had. Mid. The only <laughs> issue I had was I, I. I'd have been cool if he didn't put the diss on there. Like I, it'd have been. It it was still it would have still been a good project, and I'm just like, if you had this type of issue with this record, mm -hmm. why you even put it out? Like you didn't even have to put this out. But he deserved the criticism again, and. He gonna have to. He gonna have to live with it. It's so bad right now that major Drake, uh, major J Cole stands are making plenty of excuses for him. Like, oh no, y'all don't understand. Nah, uh, he meant to do this that, because it signifies the fall I'm, off. I'm, I'm and a, they're gonna come together I'm, and make I'm, a project. I'm, I'm going to tell you, man. I'm a major J Cole fan. I would, I would put myself in that category. And I'm telling you, niggas is mad. I, <laughs> I'm just telling you, we mad. Yeah. We're not. It ain't, it ain't like a, I'm just. I can, leaving. See, I can feel it all, off you, bro. All my, all my, all my favorite rappers are battle tested. Jeezy, Ti, Lupe, uh, Hove, Nas. Like they've all been battle tested. They've all gone at somebody at one point in time. Being Shady Kiss, you know what I mean? I got more respect for Meek right now. Like that's Whoa. what's that's what's so crazy. <laughs> Meek at least tried. Yeah, it's bad. Bro. When he when he got a hit to little his debacle with Drake, right. you know what I right. mean? This is bad. Like Cole, you ain't even you, you just you just waved a white flag. Like he's uh, just at, at the first sign of trouble though. This is the first person to ever I, say I, something I, to J. Cole. I almost want to say, like, bro, you a fraud. Yeah. Like I, you I, But you said it. He's a he's a uh it's his job, and I'm I'm gonna just say he's an employee. It's his job. That's what he's that's what he does. And like, I know this ain't, ain't a fighter. And I know this isn't some advice that anybody gave you because nobody in the profession everybody every artist, rapper, executive, I haven't heard anybody wholeheartedly come out and say we support J. Cole. They all, they've all said the same thing. We support mental health. <laughs> we support you being mentally healthy. The things they have to say. Okay. Yep. The things that are PC, that are good right now. Hey, hey, hey. We don't want you. We, we want you to be sane. Right. Okay. We don't want you to be depressed and think about killing yourself or any of that. But everybody is all, they've also had the opinion of, we wanted to see y'all go. Right. Okay. For the art, for the culture. For the art, for the culture. And I think this would have been a, this would have been a pivotal moment to show everybody, hey man, this is what hip hop's about. This is what, yeah. this is what, this is how you do it. Yeah. Ain't never going to be a big three again. That, that ship oh, has that's a wrap. sailed. That's a wrap. That's right. People have been been trying to figure out uh, who to swap in and out. Uh, uh, like, you can't swap be, anybody. It can be you just two, bro. You can't swap anybody. Kendrick and Drake, uh, yep, they're due for a, for a collision. Yep. Just let just let those two go. But it's sad. It's it's just sad to watch because it's like the talent's there. J. Cole, I could I could I could I could never imagine. It's it's you know what it's like. What's it's that? like when Durant went to the Warriors. Like we understand. Uh huh. But we didn't respect the decision. Right. Like. We don't we don't like it, but we get it. Okay, you gotta go win rings. Cool. But you ain't have to go over there. We didn't like it at all. Nah. 
It's a weak move. It's one of the weakest moves I've ever seen in hip hop. That was one of the weakest moves we ever seen this, in the NBA. This is I think the weakest it's, move. It, it definitely correlates. It's the weakest right. of his era. I like era. that take, by the way. It's the weakest of his era. Right. Like I think he's very synonymous with uh with Kevin Durant right now as far as Damn. what happened. I think Kevin Durant's harder than J. Cole, bro. Sorry. Today. <laughs> we didn't say that when he signed when he signed right. when he signed with You're that right. team. And who's to say I'm not gonna say this man can never recover from it. Because you know what? The next 10 rappers that mention his name, he could take everybody's head off and maybe maybe he'll get that respect back. Who knows? But this, he lo he definitely lost it. I, I could tell you, he lost it from his peers. He can't sit at that table. This ain't respect you just get back, dog. Nah, it's not. But I, I'm telling you, he can't sit at that table with the gods no more. Sorry, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah. You're, not, you're not welcome there. Nope, 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 nope. You might as well get you a ghostwriter, bro. I don't know. I'm just curious. If <laughs> Go get you a ghostwriter, Cole. Like, uh, it, it seemed like when he, you know, went off and, and did his apology or whatever, it seemed like maybe that was just something that he was feeling. That I, he, it couldn't have been something that was planned. I'm nah, thinking that, didn't that, that, that ain't some shit that you, that's some shit he got up there. He just started going. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I'm just like, man, where was the team, man? Hey, them boys had that dot on them, man. Kendrick I'm, I'm and them just boys like, had that dot I'm on I'm just them. like, where, Apologize. where, where was the team? Like, mm -hmm. where? Where's your manager? Like, where's uh, as they're watching this in real time? Right. Like, cut the mic, cut the music, Listen. cut the lights. You know, as soon as he start, uh, uh, cut right. it off, right. cut it off. We malfunction. No, no, no. Right. Turn, turn the sound. Right. You know, from what I've seen from like how the Dreamville producers or rappers like Omen and people like that were respond, Boz, mm -hmm. how they were responding, lets me know it wasn't planned. Cole went up there and did that himself. Yeah, definitely wasn't planned. You know what's funny? What's up, bro? Uh, they say anytime. <laughs> So, Ariana Linux. Uh, I probably Ari Linux. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry for yeah, pushing her ahead, too. Don't come for me. She's guys. wild. She's, she's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Not even, not even going into that. <laughs> but so, she, I guess she she tweeted out some type of uh, what's up, J Cole. I'm proud of you for tonight. You know, after his show with the apology and everything, yeah. and everybody collectively on the internet is just like, whenever a girl comes out and embraces you like this after you. "Quote unquote," trying to be the bigger person, you lost. Yeah, you just lost. know you've lost. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's you, okay. You've lost. <laughs> you didn't win anything. Nah, you didn't nah. win any awards. He's still J Cole. Yeah. Actually, nah, he's not J Cole. Jermaine, he's Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine Cole. He's no, nah, he's Jermaine Cool. <laughs> Jermaine Cool. Wow. He's J Chill. J Chill. Whoa. Well, yeah. He's not, he's, nah. he, 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 I don't want to hear no tough talk from nah, him. Man. Nothing in his raps. Like oh. the future rap was perfect for him. It came what? off really soft. You heard it, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. It came off real soft and real I like gentle. It. I like I like the future hey, rap. I'm a nice kid. I don't do any street stuff. In fact, when I hear bullets, I run the other way. He literally said that. Dog, this, <laughs> he literally this said this that. Man got records. Return to Simba. It's a rap. It's growing a rap. Simba. You ain't Simba no more, man. You rap. one of them Lion King background characters. It's a rap. It's a wrap. You don't have to earn that back. Sucks to say because I know you talk about being a fan of J Cole, but bro, he, I've been a fan from the beginning. Uh, uh, I re first mixed my first, the come up from the beginning, the come up, and this from is the different. come up to today, from the come up to less. Uh, right. I don't know. What, I, I remember what, when he used to open he, for Wale. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying he's on Wale first album. All right, you know what beautiful I mean. Beautiful bliss. Yep. All right, beautiful song. I love that song. And I'm and just he did his thing. He did been killing features. And, since and day we one. and we thought he was the chosen one. Uh, not me. But. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> not we. <laughs> All right, we not me. I thought he was. I thought, oh, he might be the chosen. I thought he was the Fayville Kanye, the down, Ooh. the up north Andre. This is all this, this is oh, what you get. This is, See, no, you are a major fan. This is what he claimed. This is what that. he claimed. Yeah, never this is that. what he claimed. Yeah. I'm the down south Nas. This is what he claimed. I thought I thought Wale would have gave packed his lunch for him. All the legends. Always. This, even this, now. <laughs> this is who he considered himself. Right. Wow, and it's just like man, to what that just went up in flames, man. He's just a rapper. That's it. I guess nothing more, nothing less. No big three, uh, I'm, no nothing. I'm, I had to put nip no in. Killer. I put I put nip in this spot. Nip, I need, Nipsey, I, yeah. Ooh, I like that. I, put, I, like I had that. to. I just I, I had like to that. reshuffle my rankings. I'm Salute. Like, I'm with you on that. Yeah, Nipsey I, should I just, replace him. I just put nip. Damn, but he ain't alive no more. Rest in peace. He, you know, uh, but it uh, got to be a living person, right? Uh, nah, okay. I'm a fan of a Nip's catalog. I found out. Uh, uh, so I started listening to it. To Nip, yeah. him, Sean, Wale, poor Sean, Drake, mm. Sci High. I started listening to them all the same year. Really? Big Crit. I would, I would even throw Crit there. He just doesn't get enough love because he's from Mississippi, but it's okay. His music ain't as good though. Just to be fair, it ain't as. You don't think good. so? Uh. uh and I'm a, I'm a I'm a Crit fan, but you don't feel like his music is as good. I feel like he doesn't. He just hasn't had. 
He's had the projects. Su- he's had, but I feel like his success just has it. I feel like some of his projects are just as good as some of those other guys I named. They're really good, but he just has like a different level. I feel like he just hasn't been as. I like Catalactica, man. Catalactica, Catalactica was fire. The to whole me, that concept was yeah, to amazing. Me, to me, like that's if if you have to put any crit project up there, I put that up against anybody. Any of those guys, I just rattled it off. I feel like Catalactica could go song for song with any of those. It just doesn't have as the, far as projects. Yeah, sure. it just doesn't have the mainstream success, it, and it won't because of who he is. Yeah, where he's like from, I said, Missis- the content. Mississippi went. Yeah, but whose yeah. fault is that? Is I'm that all, America's I'm cool. fault. Uh, no, I'm, I think Crit is happy with that too, man. Like, uh, you know, just because you don't have a million fans, you right. might have three hundred thousand hardcore fans right. that's going to follow you to the end of something. Ask, right. ask Currency about that. Okay, you so I mean? Crit for me. You know who Mick Jenkins is, right? Yep, I love Mick Jenkins. I like I, Mick Jenkins more than I like Big Crit now. But Big, I was a fan of Big Crit before because mm-hmm. he was out first. But I think yeah, Mick, Mick Jenkins Mick, talks about things that I relate to more. Mick has, uh, I think Mick has worked with a Crit. Yeah, on a, on a couple. They're of songs very before. similar. Yeah, but Mick Jenkins, Mick is, like Mick is from what Chicago? I like, he, uh, yeah, he's from yeah. Chicago, I believe. Yeah, I like. But Mick. what he talks about, I like more than what Big Crit talks about. I'm not a, as big as a car enthusiast as Crit so is. You, so I don't feel, care about none of that. So you feel like Mick's. Rhymes and stuff probably resonate more with you than Crit. Bro, he had an album. Um, damn, what was that album called? The Waters. Uh, AZ. Uh, the Waters, yeah, early. But he had another yeah. one uh, after an AZ album, which is one of my favorites, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now. His his latest but, one was good. The, I'm a big fan of Mick Jenkins, uh, bro. The, you're the Patience? I did hear that one. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed I, it. Listen, I love the guy's music, and to me, he reminded me of Big Crit, but better. And I don't know if he he was a fan and he got you know some of that influence, nah. but he just reminded me of a better Big Crit. And I'm not gonna say Mick Jenkins is a list and his albums are better uh, than everybody else's on the top of the ladder because it ain't. I, uh, it ain't. I, I enjoy it. I like. I like, I like it a lot. Mick is just more. Mick is probably more spoken. Drink. He's more spoken word. More water. He's more spoken word to me. He, 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 it's rap he, still. Yeah, it's rap. Yeah. I'm just saying he he tends to get into that pocket. I love it more than than Crit. I feel like Crit's definitely more south. Like Crit is more. Crit is in the David that. Banner bag. Yeah, definitely. Mississippi, man. That's exactly. Mississippi. But they're I, very similar. I'm just saying. Yeah. Very similar. Very I similar. mean, man. Yeah, I, I mean. mean but, I, hey, salute to those gentlemen. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not taking nothing from them. But, I, again, this show ain't biased. I ain't no hey, biased Hey, Jermaine dude. Cole, man. Do your job, man. Oh, no. He do got fired already. Yo, your job. He got fired. You already said you took him out of big three? He fired already. Yeah. He fired. I, 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 had, to, I had to readjust the <laughs> yeah. rankings, man. Hey, man. You, you fired, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to see him... Uh, Continue making music because he is talented, but all that stuff. There's the past. Remember we talked about last episode, five years, six years. He's killing everything. He's everything. Don't got a fire. bad feature. Period. Johnny P's caddy all this kind he of stuff. He went around about. The sh- demolishing everything he t- recorded and touched. Man, and it's just like it's I, sad to see. Yeah, it's really sad to uh, see. Uh, so I have one more question for you. What's up, brother? Well, it's actually two questions. Go ahead, bro. One: Are you gonna listen to the fall off? Yes. All right. I'm, I'm probably listening to it too. Two. Probably. Exactly. Do you think the fall off suffers at all because of this whole apology thing? Yeah, um, it does. And you said it earlier. You said he's. You believe he's a fraud, or you feel like he's a fraud. I f- as a fan, I feel that way. He's a businessman. The fall off was because it, it. The fall off was literal. It was meant to be taken literal. Well, he he been he, say, he, he changes been, it now. Now he's like, oh nah, ain't nothing fall off. I yeah. was no no no. He been saying for the you past, were tired of rap. Before. Yeah, he he been saying for about the past three four years that he's ready to retire. And even with during his fucking apology, he tried to be. He tried to make the NBA. He realized he wasn't good enough at basketball, so he went back, ran back to rapping. Nigeria, uh, them boys was beating him in yeah, Nigeria. That was that. He had to deal with Puma, so, so you got to read because he's J Cole. He, I mean, know. Jermaine Cool, he, cool. J Chill, whatever. You <laughs> so he he had to, he had a reality check. Okay, I'm not as good for the NBA, so I'm gonna come back and, and dedicate I, myself to rap. I don't know. I don't know if it's I'm not. I think it's come I, on, dog. I think he knew he wasn't, and this is just hey, this is that promotional check, bro. He was trying to get. I think I think Buddy was living a dream. Hey man, Mar- sure, Mar- Dreamville. Mar- Mar- Marvin Gaye tried out for the Rams at one sure, point. Sure, I, you know, sure. He didn't go out there thinking he was going to make the team, but right. he had a dream to be a football the player. Center position at one point taken. in time, uh-huh. he was like, "Hey, it's op- the team had open tryouts." Marvin Gaye went out Marvin there Gaye. and tried out. I, right. you know, so right. th- like right. these things do happen. Of course, uh, Master P. I mean, I thought you were going to say he, that actually he, earlier. He, uh, it, Toronto Raptors. But yeah. this thing, man, P had game. Uh, yes, he did, and P played. Yes, he did. The, like it, it's it's footage of right. him in the preseason games. Exactly, he played. Cole ain't played in the NBA. Cole played in a professional basketball league. 
That's different. Somewhere else. Uh, Cole would have been great at LA Fitness, bro. He would have been oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he yeah, definitely been one of them guys. Amazing. He's going to be nice to open run. He's going to hit all the shots. Somewhere. I don't even know if he hoops anymore, but salute to him. Uh, he probably apologizing to people on the court every time he rubs up against them. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm a it's nice guy man. from a nice neighborhood. Disappointed. That was, oh, my. Gosh, and, and then you put that verse out on the future project talking about how nice of a guy you are and how much you hate uh, I drama. I was like, oh my I'm, God. I'm, cu I'm curious about that uh, if that verse was recorded after his apology or before. But before. I, guess, I guess we'll never know. Uh, no, I think, I think you can take context clues from it. He didn't mention anything about Kendrick, anything about uh, Drake, anything about beef. Yeah. I think all those songs were recorded in the same period. Uh, him and Kendrick might have even brushed up against each hey, other in the studio. So one thing. What's up? The the very very last thing and we we can move on. Yeah, the yeah. very very last thing about this cold thing. What's up, bro? That really like really pissed me off mm -hmm. is that it would have allowed if he if he doesn't apologize, don't do none of this shit. It allows us, just allows us to even discuss to pimp a butterfly, mm. and if that album is truly boring. Well, you know my take on it. I know, I, I know. I think that's one of the you know, greatest I, rap albums of right, all time. Right, right. Yeah. But now I can't even have that conversation. Nope. You better not. I'm just, I'm just, I just. <laughs> it's over. I'm just, I'm just, I just have to, I just have to eat it. So now you're a Kendrick Lamar stand. No, no, I've been, I've been, I've been on Kate out. Okay, just make sure, just make sure. But I've been, I've been a, no, a, Kend uh -huh. a Kendrick guy. I got you. You know, section 80 all the way until. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Overly dedicated all the way until. I don't like the notion that people are like, oh, Pimple Butterflies. But I'm like, yo, that's a work of art. I am i don't disagree with that, bro. Kendrick's but an I'm artist. A, but I'm going to tell you. What's up, bro? You can't go to just, you can't go and play to Pimple Butterfly on like a Tuesday ride in your car. It just don't work that way. That album is, he I always say that album is heavy. I never said it, it was good. It is. I never say it's like a trash album. I can say, yes, there are moments in the album where one could find you can find yourself bored a little bored if you don't because that album has a lot of different sounds in it too sure. like if you're not a fan of west coast funk right like okay it's that part, album's so hard right <laughs> but i'm just saying parts yeah. of that album you're not gonna re or just not, gonna, not gonna, gonna resonate, resonate. With, with you sure, sure. because you don't come from that culture you don't come from that background right. you're like hey man i don't i don't really vibe with this you know i'm not vibing the jazz like that you know what i mean I, so it's just certain it's sounds tailored for me because Absolutely. personally, you already know I love jazz music. Yeah. You love everything. <laughs> I love a lot of different yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're so more of a connoisseur. I'm eclectic when it you comes got, to you that. You got to remember yes. though, the masses you're right. ain't They're always not. that way. So They're that's not. why I'm like, okay, right. I think it get, it it just would have allowed us to have a conversation about it. But nope, we can't right. do that no more. Nah. Hey man, uh, yeah, it is what it is. That is art. You know what I mean? That's one of Kendrick's <laughs> best albums. We just got to take it. <laughs> now, if you ask me, I think, damn. Might be his best mode. Well, album. Damn was a balance between I Good know. Kid and, that, and, and that's why, Butterfly. And that's why I love it so much. Yeah, Damn was very good, too. It, it had, was. It, it, it cohesively, right. the fact that I could play it forward, the fact that I could it play was it back. Like, that was so dope. That was a great project. Yeah, salute. But look how creative that was. He created a project yep. where the story, yep. it changes whether you play it from the front, front or from or the, the back. Yep. Like, what? The sequencing. He, like, took Nas's Amazing. rewind and said, hey, we're going to do I'll something. I'll hold my beer. I'm going to do <laughs> the whole do project. project. You know what I mean? So, but yeah. I think that was dope, man. Uh, salute to K-Dot. I can't wait to see uh, yeah, how he demolishes Drake. I'm just uh, see what and, he and, says. and salute to Drake. I can't wait to see him come back. But uh, y'all, uh, everybody knows I like uh, I, re I like and respect Kendrick a bit more uh, than I even care for Drake. Drake's music is annoying me now. I ain't gonna front. Pop rapper versus MC. Pop star uh, asset to Jay Prince and them versus an actual MC who owns his own stuff. And shout out to today. P. Lang. Today. 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 Uh, but. I, I feel like Drake is more uh, apt to try to do the street thing with him. Try to get his uh, flunkies to to try to find Kendrick or do something stupid. I hope not, man. I, I hope they keep this a hip hop and just leave it there. Well, Drake called himself a gangster recently. He said, yeah. "Now nah, I'm, I'm I ain't been a gangster before now or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm really on some mob stuff. Yeah, apparently he's like, whoa, buddy, way more gangster today than he's ever been. I think he, Drake is an Legend. industry plant, man. I think he's an industry plant, bro. That's what they said at first. I believe that now. I can see that. I can see that for sure. But uh, we'll see how all this stuff, uh, uh, you know, how all it pans out. Yeah. I hope it, like you said, is all just music. Yeah, keep it there, man. Keep uh, it there. Please, please, please. No no, no need to die over some bullshit. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't having that. Excuse my language. We're not having that, and we're not respecting that, all right? No. So uh, I think that's it for Scrap Metal Media, bro. Um, I wanted to keep this short. 
Uh, hope I don't. I don't know if we pass in an hour and a half because we're going straight to bet by bit, and uh, yeah, to Shorva. Yeah, this is bit by the bet by bit prediction of the day is. <laughs> yeah, I might like this. <laughs> Donald Trump don't take no L's, man. I'm not gonna front. I've come to that. Uh, I've come to that decision, bro. I've come to that. Uh, that's that's a that's a consensus. I think that everybody should have. Because we've seen it time and time again. The dude might really be Teflon. But that's not my prediction, obviously. My prediction is that Trump will select Candace Owens as his VP pick. Right? Let me explain. (laughs) Candace Owens has used the platform that she was given to be somewhat of a Sambo type character. I don't know what the feminine version of that is. And I've caught her out on, on, on different episodes for those that don't know my resume. Because there's some of y'all out there that's, oh, he, there goes another one that likes Candace Owens. Now, no, 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 no. I, I've, I've caught her a, a swindler. Or a, a, you know, I, I go back and listen to the episode, uh, A Spook Who Sat By The Other Door, I, I think it's called. Uh, maybe episode like 38 or 36 or something like that. Um, but no, I caught her out. I caught her out for sure. That's what I do. I don't have bias. If I like something you do, uh, salute. And if I don't, I don't. Uh, but I believe she's reached a point recently where she feels she's got an FU money and all the things that weren't sitting right with her soul, all the things that, uh, she couldn't probably go to sleep with a la J Cole. Uh, (laughs) now she got enough money and a a love life and a family to be like, F y'all, I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to do what I want. Right. We just saw images of Trump going to a Chick-fil-A restaurant and I think it was Georgia and seeing a whole bunch of women uh, and, and them jumping on him, hugging him. We just seen sexy red. We just seen the chick at the, the, the Trump rally or the Trump uh, viewing that that hugged him. And oh, I, 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 this is amazing. I'm my mom. My mom. I made it. What she said. Listen, with a pick of Candace Owens, Trump checks certain boxes that he couldn't have checked otherwise. You got women. You got, quote unquote, black people. You got a woman that is as smart as a whip. I know there's a lot of hate right now on her because of her stances in the past. Some people claim erroneously, oh, Candace, uh, she said George Floyd deserved to die. Like, you get a lot of people. Like, I've heard, um, and this is a woman that I normally like her take sometimes. She's entertaining because she, she you know, she'll bite your head off. But uh, Teslin Figaro, she's, on, she's the woman on the Breakfast Club sometimes when they have politicians. But she, she was just saying things about Candace that were just wrong. And that's what I have an issue with. Because I like to be non-biased. And one of the things that you have to have is kind of just honesty in your take you can't you can't lead with your heart <laughs> you got to lead with your mind and logic you can't say something that didn't happen because once people realize it didn't happen they're going to realize that you are the fraud the very fraud that you're claiming the other person is so getting back to my prediction it makes so much sense for trump to pick a woman and it makes even more sense for donald trump to pick a quote-unquote black woman and right now, from my perspective, uh, obviously thinking from the perspective of, uh, think of this, when people say, when Trump coined the whole swamp thing, do you think out there that he's going to pick a politician? Probably not. And if, like I stated before, it makes sense for him to pick a woman, and especially a black woman, who is the most eligible <laughs> right now, most notable, uh, politically savvy uh, Trump supporting black woman, Candace Owens, Candace Owens. It makes all the sense in the world. And if I'm right, Hey, <laughs> if I'm right, just know I'm, I, I'm a prophet for real. If I'm right, <laughs> Hey, I like what I'm seeing. I like that people are, are having, uh, are being made, uh, privy or given more options uh, more thought processes are being paid attention to. Uh, I enjoy that. I think you should have freedom of thought, freedom of expression, like some of y'all act like y'all believe. 
but really don't. So, yeah, that's it. Trump's VP pick will be Candace Owens. That's all I got, man. <laughs> that's all I got. All right. Ain't nothing else going in the time capsule. We out. And we are just universes crashing. Just do your best to leave a mark. Also, subscribe, comment, and leave five stars. This is Wendy, signing off. Dear Future Robots, peace. Peace.